I think that might be one of my only smiles of the day. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's me, Tony, your resident tarot specialist. We're back at it here at Emperor's Light Tarot to pull in some uh, love messages for you guys. Hopefully, you guys have been having a good day. And uh, yeah, here's your spiritual storytelling. So we're going to get right into it. Or maybe I'm going to ramble for two minutes. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to do the cutting shuffle that I've been doing. You know, the cards will fall where the cards need to fall. And then, yeah, we'll get started. Um, you guys want to tell me about your day? <laughs> In this weird, awkward angle that I'm about to do this reading. But yeah, my day was... Uh, I don't know, as eventful as it could be, I, I would say. Oh, we have an upside-down card. A few, actually. B5, four, from Who's been touching my tarot cards? Yeah. I got out of the bed for, the, for a while. I washed up. And, um, you know, right before the reading, I cut on this thing. You know, I kind of cleaned up my nails for you guys. Too much crud. I couldn't really get all of it. But you get what you get, right? <laughs> so, yeah. I don't want to talk about too much. You guys come here for a love reading. Some of you guys come here for my facial reaction. For my voice. Because I do have a healing voice. Yeah. So, let's see. You know that... Uh, we start with the grounded energy, whatever's at the bottom of the deck. And then we pull from the top to consider who's coming towards you in regards to love, romance, and the matters of the heart. Just want to be a little thorough here with the cutting. You know what's funny? A lot of the readings that I've been doing while I was here, I haven't really mentioned Twin Flame much. But I have these videos in the Twin Flame section. So I may truly have to make <laughs> a hospitalist. Yeah, get the laughing. Body's like, what? No, no, you don't laugh, boy. <laughs> yeah. But I took some pain medicine like 30 minutes ago. So right before shift change. I'm pretty sure my new nurse is probably going to come walking in the room at any point. But yeah, let's see. Angels and spirit guides, ancestors, highest light. Uh, what does the collective need to know in regards to love and romance today or whenever they find this video? All right, take what resonates and uh, let's get into it. Oh, we got the queen of wands. Very active energy. Very attractive energy. That's funny because active is in attract is in attractive. Right? So that's one of the keys to life. You have to keep active, right? Keep the energy flowing. It's energy in motion, right? Mm hmm So this could be your energy or just the energy you're being perceived as or the energy around you at this time. I'm getting Someone's ready to go uh, Super Saiyan or something like that. There's another. There's other words I wanted to say, but due to the fact that I don't have a lot of energy, um, <laughs> that's the one I'm using. All right, so what do I set the deck? Uh, let's see. I'll just pull from here. You know, we've been doing five-card spreads. Let's see. Card. All right. Oh, my God, the devil. So, yeah, um, coupled with the grounded card as, as the queen of wands, you, this, the person that's coming towards you, they're extremely attracted to you. Now, they could be an earth sign, a Capricorn, right? This could be someone very obsessed with you, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, they could be a supervisor or some sort of a boss or leader. They may have some sort of a great talent, as the devil is, you know, the earthbound celebrity, 
right? Silver tongue, the devil, right? These people work hard to attain things that they want, right? Materialistically speaking, right? The king of pentacles, more earth sign energy, Taurus here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this person that's coming towards you could be like some sort of an entrepreneur or business owner. Yeah, they handle their finances well. They could be very supportive. They could be any type of patriarch or father type figure. Mm -hmm. Even the husband. Yeah, because the, the devil, uh, you see them chained together. It's an earthbound contract, which is a marriage contract, right? Yeah. Mr. Moneybags, the mature man. Yeah, they may want to come towards you because it huh, looks like they may, like I said, offer off first appearances. Or, uh, I don't know, maybe they feel your energy? Or they just, uh, they, huh, they're just going off what they look, possibly? But, um, I mean, this person may be calculated. Let's get into the rest of the cards. The Sun card. Wow. Major Arcana. Yeah, this person is extremely attracted to you. You bring them a lot of joy and happiness, right? Oh, man. I'm getting, because the devil's here, I'm getting like that Mary J. Blige uh, type energy, right? How she's been able to build a successful R&B career off, um, you know, uh, joy and pain and things like that in relationships. I don't necessarily, again, take it how it resonates. I don't necessarily say that this is this person. But yeah, well, they see you as the apple of their eye. You may even be the inspiration about of how they, um, you know, uh, all this power that they gain or whatever the case may be. They may want to have a child with you. Mm -hmm. They could possibly see you or they may be very creative. I mean, they may see you as being very creative as well. Again, um, powerful people don't just go for anyone. So they may see similar qualities in you as they see in themselves, right? But yeah, the sun card is, it's like a gift, right? It's like, it's like being, being able to wake up every day, open your blinds and the sun is, and the sun is there, right? <laughs> Some of you guys enjoying a cup of coffee? Mm -hmm. Six of wands, yeah. More Leo energy. Yeah. This person could be a very proud individual. Yeah. They may even do a little bit of traveling as well. Or they, um, mm, it's also my 15 minutes of fame card. Um, a, like a round of applause or standing ovation. So, the, so this person could be a celebrity because you have the devil card. And the sun card. So the devil energy could come from, you know, all that stuff that comes with us with, with being a celebrity, right? So yeah. It's a lot of it's a lot of positive energy here, or a lot of abundant energy here, should I say as well. Mm-hmm. Let's see what the fifth card is. It's the Knight of Swords. Communication. Swift action. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe this person is, you may uh, be in, coming in contact with this person very soon. I mean, take it how it resonates. You may already know this person. And again, like an example, this could be like someone in a relationship with a celebrity, and then the celebrity is now rushing home. <laughs> I got so much to tell you, right? Because to me, the Knight of Swords is. Is someone that has a message to deliver. I mean, this, you could even be receiving, like, an email or, like, uh, DMs or phone calls or FaceTimes with this individual or something like that. <laughs> it's funny because the sun has a face and it's all up in this card. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this could be several discussions about um, highlights, maybe. Or about a child or children. Mm -hmm. 
the Six of Wands is my refugee card as well. Uh, not necessarily that this person has to be poor or anything. They've just, uh, it's kind of like one of my rites of passage card. 1010, a portal. Yeah, time to get up and take action. Yeah. <laughs> when I took my Vegas trip, <laughs> I was in Florida at one point. Next thing you know, I was in Vegas. A portal. <laughs> yep. Justice. Libra you could be dealing with on air sign. Yeah, it comes out on top of the devil. Yeah, this is like a business owner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Someone in politics, possibly. Or, uh, I don't know why I'm getting real estate. Um, but yeah, you know, when it, they could they could try and be honest or something like that. Uh, and it's also another marriage card comes out right on top of the devil. So yeah, this could be like someone that wants marriage with you, uh, unless you're already married to this person. Um, again, take the message how it resonates for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and go on to the next card. Yeah, you can make this person very happy. So we have the Five of Pentacles, the Rolling Stone, the uh, physical displacement, feelings of being locked out in the cold. That's crazy that it comes out mm, on top of the King of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Someone could be Do I see an argument here? I really don't see an argument here. Yeah. This possible this could be someone that travels a lot, maybe that comes and goes. They don't maybe they don't um I don't want to say they don't feel safe at home. It's just that uh um they're they're in different places. Yeah. Remember I I just mentioned portals here the here one day, gone the next morning. All right, so I mean, this person may do like the whole uh, hotel thing, Airbnb thing. Um, yeah, just getting around, you know, um, living that life like it's golden, basically, honestly, is what I'm looking at. Um, let's clarify the sun card. The Queen of Swords is here. Yeah, double Libra action going on. Uh, yeah, this person is quite discerning. Uh, maybe they like to plan things. They, um, they're very acute um, in their ideas is what I'm getting as well. Um, this person could be an author right, or some sort of an online entertainer, an editor, right? Maybe they make content. What, what do they call it? It could be like a podcaster or, you know, maybe they are some sort of an influencer online or something like that. Possibly YouTube or whatever the case may be. Did I say podcaster? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this person also possibly helps people make important decisions, right? If there's some sort of a financial master here with the King of Pentacles, right? Their own business, entrepreneur. Again, justice is, it's all about um, um, relationships, business, and pleasure, right? Mm-hmm. What else here is about? To, they can be a counselor. Um, Lee was also an empress as well. So this person, it comes out on top of the sun card. This person is well liked. Man, in regards to you and a love relationship, they develop a strong opinion of you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They see themselves liking you a lot, and they see themselves possibly wanting to marry you or something like that, or build a closer relationship with you, right? It doesn't have to be romantic, but these are love messages. Let's go ahead and uh, clarify the Six of Wands. You get the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. This person may see you as, uh, um, hmm. There's a lot of, uh, well, first of all, the Wheel of Fortune brings in change, right? Um, it could be auspicious, like, you know, um, positivity, 
could be a lot of good luck coming towards you. It also symbolizes fate and destiny as well. It's also one of my marriage ring cards, as wish, um, you know, the Wheel of Fortune being wish fulfillment for some could be marriage, right? Could also be abundance of money as well. Yeah, but uh, it's a lot of powerful energy here. It comes out on top of the Six of Wands. So, so you know, they, sometimes they say you can get famous in your own city. You have to leave and branch out and expand. And then that's when you get, that's when you get, um, that's what you get, that's when you get what you want, All right? That's what it looks like to me. Hold on, I have to show you the image of what I'm getting. Basically, that's what it seems like. Yeah. And then, let's see, let's, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I'm getting, I finally made it. I finally made it. I finally did it. Because I have to clarify the uh, Knight of, uh, the Knight of Swords. The Moon card. Yeah. Under the cover of Night. Um, this could be a secret. Maybe if someone hit it big, they may need to keep it a secret. Um. There's various ways that I can look at this because of what I've been uh, watching lately. I've been watching like a lot of dark YouTube content. So I don't know. Um, it could be something like that. But uh, this is uh, maternal energy. Um, fears, dreams. Like someone could have been dreaming of stardom or being a celebrity, right? Being the son. Possibly even relationships or whatever the case may be. But what I have to say here. I have to put on that last card. And what was I saying earlier about twin flames? Yeah. This could possibly be a twin flame of yours. So, yeah, they're coming in uh, well-respected, you know, hard-broiled. Um, and, yeah, they uh, see a very good connection with you. Uh, they see you, you know, you, you guys, you guys are up here as night and day. Right? As above, so below, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Masculine, divine masculine, and divine feminine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a very nice image. Mm-hmm. There could be people fighting over you or fighting over this person. Mm-hmm. But it seems like this person is extremely uh, determined, maybe, or attracted to you. Again, that's for you. That's already in the couple, coupleship. Um, and of course, we have Wheel of Fortune here as well, right? So, a very lucky situation. This person may be lucky, or again, they may. Is a song like this? You're my good luck charm. They see you as their good luck charm. The other mage arcana, justice and the devil. My relationship that lasted about seven years. Uh, yeah. Again, as above, so below energy. Air energy and earth energy. All right? So this person wants to come together with you. Um, your different capabilities um, make it easier to hold down the fort, right? You may have gifts that they don't have, and they may have. That's probably why they're eyeing you so hard. they like, I can use a person like that in my life. <laughs> yeah. We do have the Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles. I like to see kings and queens co-mingling with each other. Right? I don't know so much about the conversation between you guys. Um, I guess it all depends. It seems like a very prosperous uh, situation. Um, I don't know if I'm, if I'm speaking to a married couple. Could be. But again, take it how it resonates if you're single. There's someone that's definitely watching you. They want to communicate with you. Mm -hmm. Probably at a distance from you. Right? <laughs> again, you keep seeing horses. And you know what the Five of Pentacles means. Yeah. 
let's check the bottom five and then see if we can get to a break deck message. Yeah, very attractive, very creative, very bold. A female strategist doesn't have to be a female. Um, yeah, just a very, um, they have their own sort of a power. Mm -hmm. You know, God gives us all types of abilities, right? Some of us are born beautiful, and that's our gift and our talent, right? We can become salesmen and stuff like that, right? Someone here could be like a painter. You know, the queen of the queen of wands could also be like an Instagram model or something like that, or whatever, like an actual model. Mm -hmm. An athlete, even an adventurer. We have the nine of wands, the wounded warrior. This person could have went through a lot of uh, tough cycles. Mm -hmm. The page of wands, they're definitely sexually curious about you, right? I mean, this could even be uh, artistic curiosity. Right? The fool is coming up, more fire sign energy. Aries, yeah, this could be a very passionate person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, willing to take a leap of faith, try new things, go on new, go on new adventures. As we see, this person is like a mover and a shaker. And then we have the Nine of Cups. Uh, someone, yeah, they want to bring this cup in. They want to offer you some sort of a romantic gesture, um, whatever it may be. Maybe they want to sing for you or dance for you or whatever the case. Or just straight up offer you. Um, uh, they may come in and offer you some something romantic. Uh, that sounds weird. It's going to be a romantic uh, advance. They're going to come towards you in a romantic way, basically, because they're very passionate about you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this could be the start of a new relationship for some. Uh, at the bottom of the deck here. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. So, all in all, there is some sort of a um, difference between you guys. But um, that's going to keep things interesting. The Queen of Pentacles, um, Cancer. But it could be any one of the water signs. She's, she's extremely sensitive. Very empathic and intuitive. Um, again, this could be like a nurse or something like that. Or a doctor. Or um, some sort of a, uh, an entertainer, right? A singer, dancer, comedian, maybe even a news anchor or something like that. Um, very supportive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very emotionally uh, mature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's what I'm getting. Yeah. So, um, let's put all this stuff up, and we'll do a break deck message for you guys. All right? And that'll be your candy for tonight. All right? I think I went maybe a day or two without uploading. Uh, how am I going to do this? I like how I normally do. Let's just do some, some cuts. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the reading, brought some clarity to your situation, gave you some aha moments, or it was at least slightly entertaining, you know? I don't do them for no reason. I do them because you guys go bonkers in the comment section, right? I see the subscriber count going up, you know, hopefully we do hit 4,000 at some point. It's awkward enough that my uh, thumbnail showed me uh, <laughs> laid up in the hospital, but obviously that doesn't hold, you know, my old subscribers back. When they, and even new subscribers, they're like, this is my first time coming across your channel. Yeah, uh, you have a lot of strength. And then they, uh, they subscribe. So, you know, like I said, I don't do this for nothing. 
<laughs> and every now and then I mention how I die for this shit. Because I believe this is my life purpose. Um, I do believe that um, I could have been a lawyer or whatever the case may be. Or some sort of a uh, motivational speaker. Um, and a doctor. But there's so many things. Like, like I'm an artist as well. I like art, music, movies. And um, I try to use all those things, um, you know, when I'm reading tarot, to try to display the message or the downloads that I'm getting or what I'm seeing through, you know, these artsy cards. All right, so let's break that the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Again, this can be a possible outcome what's, that's coming towards you. Very successful. Dealing with um, a very successful person or just um, manifesting the things that you want. This could be multiple resources, right? Or just a large, happy family. It is my breaking of generational curses card as well. Let's see. Yeah. And the Ace of Wands. So you get the Ace of Wands and... Um, oh. You get the Ace of Wands, and you get the Ten of Pentacles, two positive cards, as your break deck message. Yeah. The Ace of Wands symbolizes a new urge or a, bur a burst of uh, energy or creative potential. Maybe someone wants to travel, right? Or, um, you know, just get, get sex as well. Um, but I don't want to drag too much. Um... Anything else, spirit? Someone here has animals? Or it could be a shaman? Um, someone here, they, ha they have great manifesting potential. Yeah. All right. So that's what I have for you guys this evening. I'm going to go ahead and upload this one. 27-27 on the timer. And uh, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.